In June 2004, astronomers Roy Tucker, David Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi discovered a 340-meter asteroid while operating the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. The object was named Apophis, after Ra's serpent-like rival in Egyptian mythology. Apophis was recognized as one of the most dangerous asteroids that could collide with the Earth in 2029. However, when astronomers watched Apophis and learned more about its orbit, their judgment of its impact evolved. Now, astronomers have concluded that there is no risk of Apophis reaching our planet for at least a century, thanks to the results of a new radar observation campaign paired with precise orbit analysis. When astronomers anticipated Apophis passing near Earth in 2029, it swiftly garnered popularity as an asteroid that could represent a severe hazard. According to additional observations of the near-Earth object, NEO, the chance of an impact in 2029 was later ruled out, as was the potential impact risk posed by another close approach in 2036, according to additional observations of the near-Earth object. In 2029, Apophis will approach close to Earth at a distance of roughly 20,000 miles. So long as you reside in the Southern Hemisphere, you can see it with your naked eye, and it will look like a speck of light moving across Australia during this close encounter. At its closest approach to Earth, it will be above the Atlantic Ocean and will travel so quickly that it will cross the Atlantic in less than an hour and will traverse the United States in the late afternoon, early evening, the following hour. According to calculations, Apophis will reach a visual magnitude of 3.1 during this approach, comparable to the stars in the Little Dipper. Apophis is anticipated to be visible without a telescope from parts of Australia, Western Asia, Africa, and Europe in 2029. Earth's gravity will cause Apophis's orbit to widen, and it is expected to make another flyby in 2068. The chances of it colliding with Earth at that time were initially estimated to be 1 in 150,000, but new observations indicate that those models need to be updated. When Apophis passed close to Earth on March 5th, Astronomers took advantage of the chance to use sophisticated radar data to fine-tune its orbit around the Sun, allowing them to confidently rule out any impact risk in 2068 and beyond. Davida Farnokia of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies said that the 2068 impact is no longer in the realm of possibility, and our calculations do not show any impact risk for at least the next 100 years. As a result of this new analysis, Apophis has been removed from the Sentry Impact Risk Table, which is a list of objects that travel so close to Earth that astronomers have yet to rule out a possible collision. According to new data, Apophis is drifting outside of our prior projections and the Sun is the most likely culprit. Uneven solar heating causes Apophis to emit heat from one side more than the other, and the energy produced gives it an extra push. This has the potential to significantly modify its orbit over time. This phenomenon is known as the Yarkovsky effect. When compared to previous models, the drift currently accounts for a difference of around 557 feet per year which is enough to call our effect projections into question. Despite this, there is no cause to be concerned about a collision with Apophis in 2068 or any other year, which is fantastic news for us because while Apophis is not big enough to be a planet killer, it would ruin our day if it made contact. The most obvious and certain response to something like Apophis is to flee the region According to the Sentry Risk Table, if Apophis were to hit Earth, it would impact our planet with a kinetic energy equivalent to more than 1,000 megatons of TNT, or tens to hundreds of nuclear weapons. For comparison, 
The impacts that created Meteor Crater in Arizona about 50,000 years ago and the Tunguska event of 1908 are thought to be between 3 to 10 megatons. Although Apophis would not pose a threat to humanity as a whole, it would easily cause billions of deaths and months, if not years, of climate disruption. We would have to get out of the way if we could not stop it or change its trajectory. A project of that magnitude would necessitate global cooperation as millions of people would become the first space refugees. And depending on the size, density, speed, and angle of approach of the asteroid, such an evacuation may not be possible. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.